It's just there's a special feeling about that about that whole festival. It's just fun. It's family and it's it's always feels safe and it's always interesting and the music is fabulous and I don't know, it's just great. <laughs> The Comox Valley Folk Society is a non-profit organization founded in 1995 with the goal of delivering a Roots and World Music Festival to the Comox Valley every summer. But there just might be more to this festival than you might initially expect. Sue Wood is the marketing manager for Vancouver Island Music Festival. Recent Canadian studies have shown that festivals of the, our size, like the Vancouver Island Music Festival, generate four to five dollars per dollar spent. So if we are a million dollar festival, we potentially generate four to five million dollars in the valley over the period of the festival. That's a significant contribution to any economic environment. Doug Cox is the artistic director for Vancouver Island Music Festival. We're recognized internationally as one of the best festivals in the world at this point in time and our contribution economically to the community, both the music community internationally and the local community is significant. Outdoor festivals are always an awful lot of fun and yeah, we just want to take in something like that locally this year. So. We used to have a camper, which was nice. You'd get there early and set your camper up and then you're set for the whole yeah. festival. Well, but, uh, but otherwise, we love it. Yeah. And we love Vancouver Island. Yeah. This lineup um, for a marketing manager is uh, magic. Uh, it's selling itself. So Friday night, uh, two of the headliners that are playing Friday night are Richard Thompson and KD Lang. Saturday night, uh, Emmy Lou Harris and the Sheepdogs. Sunday, Lori Anderson and Buffy St. Marie and Matt Anderson. And then one of the things that I'm really excited about this year is Sunday during the day, we, we always have our big gospel concert to kick off the festival. We have a uh, 50 member African choir that's going to be coming and performing and then following that Sunday daytime we have the Be Good Tanya so be doing their show on the main stage as well so it's the first time we've had a headliner really on the main stage during the day but we've got so many great performers this year that we couldn't fit them all into the nighttime lineup so for the Be Good Tanya fans out there they'll be playing Sunday during the day. You'll need to check out the Vancouver Island Music Fest website to get all the details. So we're real close to selling out on weekend passes. Um, our day passes are going to go on sale very soon and, and we're selling a limited number of those. So we couldn't be happier. It's just, it's been a magical year already. In the Comox Valley, for Shaw TV, I'm Franco Noviello. <laughs>